In other news at this hour, the United Nations was founded in 1945, just after the Second World War. The organization was supposed to maintain international peace and security. But looking at what is happening in Afghanistan, it is safe to say that the country neither has peace nor security. And now the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, has called solving the Afghanistan crisis a fantasy because the body has little capacity to mediate. He also took a swipe at the United States and other NATO members for failing in Afghanistan, despite abundance in funds and soldiers. Remember, Pentagon spent $1 trillion in the last 20 years to only see the Afghan government and military it's supposed to collapse and also making a path for the Taliban to regain control of the country. Well, I think there is uh, an expectation that is unfounded. I mean, we have a number of countries that have used hundreds of thousands of soldiers for decades, that have spent trillions uh, for decades. And uh, to think that uh, even if they have failed with all these resources to fix the problems of Afghanistan, the UN can now, without that money, and without those forces, the UN can now solve the problems that they didn't solve for uh, decades is, of course, a fantasy. Well, what about the future mediation with the Taliban? United Nations has said that it is not expecting miracles. I think that uh, uh, our capacity of mediation is limited. I know that other countries uh, are involved uh, in these discussions and we fully support that effort. We express that very clearly to the, to the Taliban leadership, but uh, obviously uh, we, uh, you cannot expect miracles. I mean, we can engage, uh, but uh, um, the Taliban will not accept that the UN is now forming the government in um, Afghanistan. But while Guterres is not expecting miracles, he has said that the world should not strangle Afghanistan and that the people are on the verge of a dramatic humanitarian disaster. UN chief says governments around the world need to find ways to inject cash in the Afghan economy and help the vulnerable people. Meanwhile, the head of the UN assistance mission in Afghanistan held a meeting with Taliban government's interior minister, Sirajuddin Haqqani. The UN official stress, stressed rather, on the absolute necessity for UN humanitarian workers to be able to work in the country without intimidation. In a tweet, the UN urged immediate need for aid and on-ground medical help. Currently, half of Afghanistan's population is already in need of aid and 14 million people on the brink of starvation. Taliban was quick to confirm that the UN can continue its relief measures without any huddle. It said that the Taliban government is keen to engage with the international community. While this is a very tall promise by the Taliban, it is being seen with suspicion because the Taliban government hasn't quite stood by its other promises. Security of UN aid workers, especially females, is still a matter of concern. So while reaching the innocent of guns is a priority, the United Nations knows that it will come at a cost.